Hello, hello. How uh, is everybody doing? How are you guys out there? We are starting a new week, very inspired, very excited about our artists of the week that we're bringing for you this week. And I'm going to be interviewing him in a few minutes. But just wanted to check how's everything going over there how are you doing are you starting the week inspired are you a little bit down how are you feeling feel free to send your comments i hope you are inspired and if you're not you're gonna get a lot a lot of inspiration today from lawrence armstrong who i am going to bring to the camera right away hi larry welcome <laughs> hi viviana how you doing Good, good. So excited to to have you to have you back with us, to have you back and, and get to interview you and present you again in our show. So what's new in your life? What's happening? Um, well, you know, I've been uh, in the studio a lot lately, actually. Um, you know, my my role here at my company is uh, uh, getting less and less over time as chairman. And so I have more time in the studio and I'm in the process right now of creating a commissioned piece, which I'm very excited about. Sounds awesome. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about spending more time in the studio? What's I love happening? it. Yeah, love I it? love it. You know, I think that, um, you know, in the past when I was uh, CEO of my company, I was, um, uh, a lot more restricted in terms of how much time I could spend in the studio. So, um, you know, I'm down to about 30% of my week is spent at the company now. So I have more time to uh, focus on my art, which is great. Is that giving you new ideas, like new techniques developing from this? Yeah, you know, um, as I've said before, my you know, my inspirations come um, mostly when I'm not busy, when I'm kind of relaxed or doing something other than working, uh, sometimes when I'm sleeping. But, uh, you know, the more time I have um, kind of downtime or unstructured time, I guess I should say, uh, the better it is for creativity and inspiration, at least for me. So I've had some... Uh, cool ideas recently that I'm exploring for sure. Great. And I'm going to share your website here because I saw so much new work in here. So it's, I'm excited about the color. Um, I see, I see a lot of difference from what you were creating before. And what I see here is more free forms on the compositions, right? It's like free. I don't know. Something happened in there. I can tell. And that's exciting to see, like, there's a transformation going on with this artist since I know you are for, for years, right? Yes. And this is new. This is exciting. Can you talk to us about this? Yeah. So um, this is one of the ideas I've been exploring recently, and it's an inspiration um, that I got um, when people visit my studio, um, they notice that my floor is it's a concrete floor and it's covered with paint right and um and so people have commented how my floor looks like a piece of art and so i was inspired uh, to create these new pieces and they're called floors flrs uh, and they're all based on um vignettes uh of my floor studio floor and of course it changes all the time because I'm always in there painting and adding more paint to my floor. And so I've created these little digital photogra photographic vignettes of pieces of my studio floor. And then what happens is I, I layer over top some digital color. And then what happens is we make large uh, photographic prints of this these pieces and they're mounted on a board. And then I add some acrylic paint over that. And then um, uh, some clear resin over that. And so it becomes a mixed media piece. And every once in a while, I'll put in what I call a, uh, a personal artifact. 
which might be a ticket to a concert or a, you know, a ballet or something. And so I've created a bunch of these now and um, people love them. I've, I'm very excited to make them because they, they can change all the time and um, I can capture little vignettes that, you know, kind of inspire me. And so that's what these are and well, um, pretty cool. They are cool. So it keeps changing. You keep dripping more painting as you're creating, right? Yes. And you just keep flipping and, and getting and capturing. There's so much. What I love in here is there's some that I can tell where you working on this circular forms or they just form out of a different artwork. Is this accidental? gorgeousness <laughs> yeah so some of some of that circular form is the paint i add on afterwards okay and some of it is what spilled off a previous painting onto the floor so okay. it's a combination of both oh okay and it is so completely I, mixed media yeah 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 and i so i i just add where i want to add to the competition composition and um yeah it just okay. acts as a, another layer you know everything as you know i do in layers so wow yes and this is like when we started working with you this was the beginning of the journey with you uh learning about your concept of layers can you share that with the audience yeah so um uh you're right. Um, the the whole time I've been working in a, as an artist, it has been to explore in a very abstract way the concept of um, layers, and I see layers in physical space, both natural and the built environment, but also layers in um, atmosphere, in emotion, in um, uh, sound in a space. Um, and all sorts of things like that. Some of the layers are very conceptual. Some of them are very physical. Uh, and so I draw inspiration uh, and I see really the world in layers. And I, um, it's just the way I look at, at life and the world. And I've used that concept in design and architecture for many years. And so now I'm applying it in a much more abstract way uh, to my art. And I've tried different um media and techniques to explore this idea over time and uh so i'm excited about it i i think it's kind of an endless um uh, opportunity to explore yes and now you have the time somebody's sending congratulations larry for your start of the week yes oh, thank you thank you <laughs> maria thank you we're excited we're excited to have you what's happening for you this year i know now you have more time. So what's happening? Are you well, very have, active this year? Yeah, I have several. Um, I'm lucky. I have several. I have, I think, three solo shows this year, which I'm very excited about. Uh, one which will be in Florence, Italy, which I'm really excited about. And I'm also uh, I'm doing a commission right now, uh, a piece in my studio right now. I'm going to complete in the next week or so. Yeah, so I'm excited about that, and um, and then we'll see what happens after that. Exciting. Well, we're, we're really happy to have you. Is there something you have such a journey, Laurie? I mean, we can ask you so many things. You started, uh, for those who are watching, uh, Larry started as an architect. How has that journey been? Can you tell us in a nutshell, like from there to now? your your experience and and something that you would uh share as an advice from that experience on your life yeah so i think that um you know when i started i i think i was um my work maybe was a little more hesitant i think you know and um i think as time got has gone on i've i've loosened up quite a bit i guess in the creative process um, so I'm excited about that. You know, there's always a, a learning opportunity and I think, I feel like, um, you know, any, 
anything you're going to explore in your life, it's a, it provides an opportunity, continuous learning. And I'm a big fan of continuous learning. And, you know, I, I'm just very appreciative of the time, you know, we've been able to work together because back when I started first showing, you were the one of the first, um, you know, gallery owners and curators that contacted me to show my work when you were back, you know, when you were in Italy and now in New York. So I've been so excited and thankful to be able to work with you, Viviana, and um, continue to explore my work. And uh, yeah, so it's been an exciting thing. And I think the the art world, uh, there's a lot of, lot of cool people in the art world. And I think it's just a matter of finding the people that you want to work with, which I have done over time. Um, and you're certainly one of the most important people that I work with. And I appreciate that. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to just keep exploring and see where, where I can take this idea of layers. Wow. Well, I want to thank you so much for your time. It's been an honor working with you all these years. I can just, I can wait to see what's happening because I feel like This is the beginning of a new journey for you. So I'm really excited and looking forward for what's coming up for you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thank Always you. exciting to see you. Thank you, Larry. Bye. Bye, Viviana. Thank you. Wow, that was very inspiring, guys. So I just hope that you go to the website Go to Arthur International, check him out, and go visit his website as well. You'll see his website right on, on uh, the 18 website. And check him out. Check out more of his works. It's phenomenal. I love it. I'm his fan. And it is very inspiring to see the journey of transformation for an artist. I'm really inspired today with this. And I hope you got some great inspiration for this Monday and for you to have an incredible, incredible week. I hope that you do. I hope that you do. Keep focused, keep positive, stay inspired, 